from eerie, haunted, abandoned cabins in the woods to remote gorges, this van life adventure is a road trip we wouldn't forget quickly. And no signal, no reception, just us, the mountains and the river and the hot water. Bye. Hi, my name is Flossy. I'm a bi-hemispherical traveller, living in British Columbia, Canada, in my home-built van, my tiny home on wheels. I'm back in New Zealand right now, travelling the length of the country in a van, and I'm excited to share with you this magical, subtropical country where I was born. Right, so we were here last, and then we made this, which was probably the biggest drive of our trip, down to Greymouth. We were so keen to come to see Greymouth, to see the beautiful pink church and we got to park right along the ocean right here, which was the best. There are so many big mountains all in this area and it was like traveling in a gorge through and between giants. Absolutely gorgeous and a much needed relax. The next day, leaving Greymouth, heading back up this route, up to Reefton, and then we headed down to Maruia Springs, a beautiful little hot springs within the Lewis Pass, before heading on this way, with this being our final destination. This is the tui bird, otherwise known in English as the parson bird. He's magnificent. We had inadvertently created ourselves an itinerary of constant movement and travel, different places and locations, things to see and do every day. And I truly believe that humans are not meant to move that fast, and the optimal speed of travel is little more than a walking pace and a major change in location should only be every few days at its fastest. Do you have a lot to say? So, to add on top of that, filming, storytelling, spending quality time in my relationships with loved ones, friends and family, I was feeling a little worn out. Oh, what a delightful problem to have to be so full of new experiences that one feels pulled to slow down and rest. It was a really timely reminder that if we don't stop and rest and take care of ourselves when we need it, the universe has a really rather sneaky, more uncomfortable and much harder to ignore 
way of making us slow down with no regard for anything we've got planned to do at the time. Bye. It's been a lovely time. in the woods. This is my favorite bit. Hands going on the top. Another fireplace. Look at this majestic thing. Reclaiming. We found a hiker's hut in the woods, maybe. Two chimneys in the middle of the forest. Even the graffiti is like 10, 15 years old. 20? 10, 15. Yeah. Look at this place. was a wall and now it's very bent and wobbly and that was a roof and this was a floor and some canvas mat evidence of something but oh my gosh is there nothing left now There's 
just a teeny, teeny touch of snow on the top of those mountains. We are at the top of Lewis Pass, which is part of the mountain range that separates Nelson uh, for Christchurch and also contains the hot springs. So we're going to stop at both hot springs actually, Maruia Hot Springs and Hamna Hot Springs and I'm pretty excited about that. But it has been really nice and just what my body needed after a busy go 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 catch up with friends to then breathe, slow down again and catch up on some editing and relax and allow my body, sleeping in a van that's a rental is very different to sleeping in a van that's your own and you've set it up and it's all custom built and all of that kind of stuff. I have a nice, huge, thick, cushy mattress in my bed and this one here is a very small, squishy one. So it was nice to ease our bones and have some hot water to feel better, to relax and no signal, no reception, just us, the mountains and the river and the hot water delightful really delightful I feel like my body has needed this time to reset to slow down to step out of a grind and and into out of stress mode into like deep relaxation One of the shorter little jaunts, Maruia Springs ended up closing uh, midweek earlier than expected. So we were like, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go over to Hamner Springs, which is more like a um, water park, a thermal, geothermal water park. This is more like a resort spa. So we went over here and hung out there and had a beautiful time. Uh, a relaxing soak in the pool beautiful dinner, a nice camp out, and to be honest, I really don't think I filmed much from here. This point in the trip, I started to get really, really tired, so you might have some beautiful mountain shots. We did stop through the pass to get some beautiful drone shots, and I can't wait to show you those. Camp 
background tickets, pieces of wood from the beach, something from the forest, something from the highlands, more beautiful rocks, beautiful pieces of gum tree, more driftwood, flowers from the middle of the mountain pass, roses, seashells, mussel shell, um, Tawakawa and more beautiful rocks and a piece of pumice from Taupo. This chapter of the adventure was ending, leaving me richer in memories and full hearted. as we dismantled our little altar from the front of the van, happy and sad at the same time. I really felt like I was starting to get a grasp on how much and how I felt belonging and home connection with each place we'd visited and how each one was different. really noticing, suddenly, how much I was missing my little home on wheels. My step van, Siren, back in Canada. Finally, the very last leg of the journey. After getting kicked out of one campsite and moving to another, um, which was hilarious in hindsight and not fun at 9.30 at night and um, we headed for another longer drive all the way down through these small towns alongside the ocean again to Christchurch final destination on New Zealand really beautiful to be down here with family slowing down stopping we cleaned and returned the van and that ended this New Zealand leg of the journey. Ah.